I think this is so cool from a research perspective because y'all, if you're about to launch a new business, launch a new product, launch a new offer, um, if you just want to keep tabs on your competitors, but you know, this is really cool too. You can tell here's a company that spends a ton of money and this is the highest performing avatar. So if I were smart and I were selling saunas, I'd say, I'm going to go find a girl that looks just like this one because they've already done all the work and I know it's going to function. Absolutely should not be slept on. Um, and it doesn't surprise me that Google is quiet about its release either. Imagine a spy tool that allows you to see the ads your competitors are running, when those ads are being run, where geographically they're being run, which ones are working and which ones aren't. I give you the Google Ads Transparency Center, which I didn't know launched, by the way. They launched it very quietly uh, late March of this year. I was pinged on Twitter by my buddy Bohan. Shout out to Bohan for giving us the heads up. And y'all, this thing is amazing. Now, a couple of notes. You can filter, but some of the filters are kind of misnomers. For example, you can filter by time. And you'll notice that you're like, gosh, Google is all the way back to 2018. But they don't really, because trying to pop anything within you know, uh, a time frame that far ago, like Geico, for instance. Geico spends a billion dollars a minute. There's no way Geico wasn't running ads in September 2018, and yet Google yields zero ads. So here's my expectation. I think that moving forward, Google's gonna start cataloging the ad library uh, to a far greater degree, and you're gonna, your retroactive look back is going to be more effective in the future, if that makes any sense. But you can still filter by time, which is really cool. And as you get you know, kind of more um, recent with your lookbacks, uh, it starts to yield much better results. So we've got uh, custom timetables, um, geographic targeting on a country basis, um, right now, it's got, giving the opportunity to segment uh, from a more specific standpoint, but I have a feeling this is probably coming. So, you know, large regional targeting, um, and then formats, images, text, videos. So I think this is so cool from a research perspective because y'all, if you're about to launch a new business, launch a new product, launch a new offer, um, if you just want to keep tabs on your competitors, there's other ways to do this. Most notably, my buddy, PPC Ad Lab. Uh, Rob Warner launched PPC Ad Lab. I'm not an affiliate. I'm just a big, big fan. And um, it's an awesome piece of technology that allows you to monitor uh, what your competitors are doing inside of Google Ads. But um, it has the same limitations any software would have that's trying to go against the grain. Um, and so this is a great, great supplement at an absolute minimum. So um, Google started this with political ads specifically. Uh, for I think reasons that are probably obvious, but we can go all topics and then you can search by an adverti uh, advertiser or website name. So WordStream, let's say. Um, I have the website and then I can see all the WordStream ads that Google wants to give me. But what's interesting is if I don't narrow by URL and instead uh, I narrow by the advertiser, I get way more results, 95 ads. Now already, I'm a Google Ads agency, and here I am looking at these guys, see industry average CPC stats. <gasps> what a great offer that is. You know, and all they're doing is amalgamating data and then giving it to you. I love that. And I can even kind of start to see destination URLs. Now these are the, the, the visible destination URLs, right? So you're not really seeing where the click is going to go, but you can sort of see what the advertiser is intending, um, which, is, which is really cool. I can see the site link extensions, uh, list your business on 4110. I don't know why local IQ is showing up when I search for WordStream. Does WordStream own local IQ? That's interesting. Did I just learn something? Oops, not what I wanted. You saw my history, it's so embarrassing. Local IQ. Yo, what a fun Little experiment, is local IQ being run out of the WordStream Google ad campaign or account? Does local IQ, oops, that's not what I meant. Does WordStream own local IQ? It is. So they're public about this. It's just information that I didn't have, but look at what we've already uncovered. Anything being run out of the advertiser's account is going to show up in their ads. That's huge. What a fun and amazing discovery. That's also really dangerous too. If you're an advertiser, you have to be real careful about commingling your accounts. Uh, I'm surprised to see WordStream doing this, to be frank. I think if they'd have a separate brand, they'd be smart enough to have a separate Google ad account. 
My, my. Um, so I get to see all their text ads. And, and, and let me be very clear. I've double checked against my account. It's not all. It's some, but it seems to be the, the ones that are that are making the biggest impact. And that's really interesting, too, because if you're monitoring your competitors on a regular basis, then you can start to see when offers run dry and then when they start to segue those offers out. So a um, bunch of text. I want to get to some of They've got to have some. No. Hold on. I know where stream runs to display. Nothing? That's amazing to me. It's amazing. All right, let's go for somebody that we know is going to actually give us uh, Geico Corporation. All formats, images. Bam. Now I get to see all of Geico's. So again, you're not probably going to be advertising against Geico anytime soon, but let's say that you were. You were going into the insurance space or you were offering a product that you thought was semi-analogous and you know, or to the same avatar. Now all of a sudden I get to see what's working for Geico. Um, it stands to reason that you need to be careful because of the way that responsive assets are being compiled. Uh, you know, in, in, I don't know how Geico runs in the background, but even with the text ads that we just saw through WordStream, um, that's, those are assets that are being provided on the back end and then, and then compiled on the front end by Google, uh, which actually, I think, lends more credence to the value of the ad that you're seeing. So somebody gave Google a box of Legos and then Google built this specific Lego castle and told you, hey, this is the castle that's getting the most visibility. Uh, I wanna get some videos. Who's definitely, definitely, definitely gonna get me some videos? Uh, let's go. This is not a glitch. I'm interrupting the video you're watching because I wanna remind you that we provide done for you Google ad services. We're the number one ranked Google ads agency on the planet with almost $100 million in ad spend under management. If you're an entrepreneur, business owner, C-level exec, director of marketing, and you're managing your own Google ads, I think that's a massively inefficient use of your time. As a matter of fact, in my experience, within 90 days, we're able to optimize existing campaigns to a point to where we're paying for ourselves. We move from being a cost center to a profit center, and I wanna put my time and my money where my mouth is. If you're spending $10,000 a month or more in Google Ads, I want to offer you a free, no obligation action plan. A high level member of my team, one of our strategists, will look at your account, open the hood, and do it full diagnostic and explain everything that we would recommend that you change in order to optimize your campaigns. You can take that, do it yourself, you can hand it to an internal member of your team, or in an ideal world, you can hire us. I'd love the opportunity to, to earn your business. Please go to sol8.com. That's sol, the number eight.com. Request your free action plan. Until then, back to your regularly scheduled program. Definitely, definitely nothing. I mean, nothing? Wow. Well, it's just getting incestuous with it. You ready? Video. Bam! Look at that. Now, we've got dozens of videos running right now so again it's not showing you everything but it's showing you some and definitely the ones that are getting the most play like this is the remarketing i've had running forever that's my old office um but it's right, still, and we're live bam play the video right within app oh my goodness wait a minute is it giving me destination no it's not okay i didn't think so with the display it's not giving me the destination path but i thought because this all of a sudden looks clickable um this is going to give me the destination, but you can see last shown, which is pretty cool. You could report this ad. Don't do that. Please and thank you. Uh, and then see more by this advertiser. And then if I wanted to remove the video, now I see all formats. And, th you know, this is interesting, too, because we run so much more than this. So it lets you know, you know, we're a lower spend when you compare us to Geico, for instance. Um, but, you know, we spend $200,000 a month. So I spend $200,000 a month across dozens of media assets and this is about what Google's giving you um, and if I were to check by who's a good competitor client boost I really like these guys by the way if you weren't to go with solutions eight go with client boost they're good folks they do good work um, and I, I feel like they spend as much if not more than me and here they are you know they're doing a lot in search though a lot of ours is YouTube it's the tubes um, that's not a bad Get 17 plus stronger strategies. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, how fun is this to just dive in here and then go to school on what our competitors are doing? So let's go do a real search. I'm going to search for red light sauna because I just bought a sauna. 
Um, and who's offering me red light sauna? So I've got sunlighten.com. So let's go to the Ad Transparency Center and say sunlighten. 500 ads from sunlighten. Oh my. Now, curious. Personal infrared saunas. Don't sweat the price. Again, it's responsive, right? Uh, wellness expert recommended. Are they going to give me don't sweat the price? Lymphatic massage therapy. Oh, that's the day spa. Oh. Again, so Sunlighten LLC has local businesses and then also has their hardware business. I don't know. Their, what's the word I'm looking for? Like they sell saunas and then they also have their local. Y'all, this is a big deal. It's a big deal to be able to see everything run out of one Google Ad account. Um, it doesn't surprise me that they're doing that. That's the way that you'd have to do it. But it's kind of cool now. You're going to be able to see where uh, where people are piercing the veil a little bit. Um, and these are obviously responsive display ads. Look at that. You can see the way that they've been structured. Uh, but, you know, this is really cool too. You can tell here's a company that spends a ton of money and this is the highest performing avatar. So if I were smart and I were selling saunas, I'd say I'm going to go find a girl that looks just like this one because they've already done all the work and I know it's going to function. And then, you know, here's a couple that might be uh, performing really well for a separate audience or separate avatar. Um, why reinvent the wheel? And I get to go and I get to watch their videos. Where'd that video go? <gasps> Doesn't matter. I can segment by format video. Bam. If I want to. We have cranked up the heat. We've cranked up the heat. I wish we could see the destination path. Man, how cool would that be? Last shown May 2023. So just curious how far back it's going to let me go. Last 30 days, of course. Fine. But what if I tried like last year, September? That's not what I wanted. Nothing. Yeah. I wish that retroactive look back was a little bit more robust. Um, well, the beginning of this year. Like I looked for at Solutions 8 for last year and it showed me some. Yeah. Well, then the question becomes, were they advertising? Of course they were, right? Like nobody ramps up this significantly in that short a period. So again, I think that Google's going to build their library and then make the retroactive look back a little bit more robust. But um, Verified is based in the United States. Uh, and then that's the other thing that would be really cool too is being able to see what people outside of the country are doing because you could learn from the non-competitors. Um, you know, especially if you're in a geography or a geographic region that tends to be a little behind the times. Uh, I was talking to a buddy who's in Latin America and he says, yeah, everything that happens in the States happens to us 90 days later. And so, well, okay, then go look at advertisers in the States and see what they're doing. And now you get to see your future 90 days from now. Um, I think this is so, so cool. Again, it's not the most comprehensive look at advertisements. Um, but what a phenomenal research tool this is. And uh, absolutely should not be slept on. Um, and it doesn't surprise me that Google is quiet about its release either. So if you haven't played with it, Please do so. What I'd love to know from you is what are the things I'm not thinking about? How would you use this? Inform me, teach me, help me. What are the SOPs that you would implement in your organization? Drop them in the comments. Um, I'd love to talk. And um, that's all I got. Shoot a video every day. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow. There's a ton of, there's a myriad of AI marketing tools. As a matter of fact, I've included a link to 75 AI tools, some of them free, some of them paid. I'm not an affiliate to any of them. It's a, it's a, it's a Notion link, I think, that a, a member of my staff found and dropped in our Slack channel, but I thought it was amazing. It's really worth you taking the time to play with some of these. There are AI marketing tools for copywriting, images and graphics.